It's finally done. Ink to paper, dried. Yurov's playing one more year in the KHL. Is that like, let's just start with the fact, is that bizarre to you that it's a one-year deal? Like, does that put him in a weird spot where they're going to dog him again and not play him because they want him to sign another extension? Um, I mean, usually it isn't one year. So that's like the one thing that's weird about it. I don't necessarily believe it's anything about holding that over his head. I, yeah, I'm, and pl- so the big thing for me is I thought it was good that he stayed over there. Like, first of all, he's not ready to come over. Like, it, the last two years have not helped him, that's for sure. Uh, this year he played a little bit more, but even then he was still up and down. Some games he'd play 32 seconds. Some games he played play zero. And then other games they'd just, like, throw him on for 12 minutes. But Metal Air, they had a not great year for them. Um, and their coach gets gassed. They have a coaching change, which also should, in theory, help that he's got kind of a clean slate uh, with a new coach. And I, he also is better than half the fucking team. So like, they're going to have to play him if they want to win games here. Cause there were so many games. They like, weren't scoring and they put him on the ice again for like two and a half minutes. And he'd still put up like four shots on net. Like he's a talented fucking player. And at this point, like, one year to me means it is. I, I would be surprised if you extended again over there, but um, I don't necessarily think the combination of the coaching change, he's a year older um, and he did extend. I don't think they're going to hold that over his head. I think at that point, they probably know he's gone anyways. But again, the big thing for me is just like the coaching change. And I think it's going to be great for him to have another, ideally, full season over there playing regular minutes and then he can come over him and who's and Dinov will be up at the same time. So you got both Russians coming over. And Ugrin. Um, what's that? And Ugrin. That'll be fun. Yeah. We'll see what happens with him. Um, he's playing phenomenal by the way, that series he's in the all Svenskin final to uh, get promoted and he's, well, he might not be leading them anymore because he didn't put up a point this week, but he was leading with points shots on goal goals plus minus he was like he was leading uh Jew guard and everything so he's been a stud by the way um so potentially yeah but like if, when you're looking but with Yurov though I think it's good that he's gonna again be playing in the K I'd rather have him have a regular role even if it's like a middle six 12 to 15 minutes a night in the KHL where there's a lot of focus on offense and let his confidence grow over there at somewhat out of the spotlight then come over and play in like Tim Army's AHL Iowa wild. Like I think this is significantly the KHL is better than the AHL. I don't think that's like a big thing. Like I think, I don't think I'll upset anybody over here by, by saying that uh, who knows I will, but um, I think it's a better league. I think he will get regular minutes next season. And I think that's better for his development. Again, you feel like he also does not need the spotlight at this point any more than he, like people were just wondering what was going on. Why wasn't he playing? I think just him being able to be over there at home and then, you know, we'll see what happens. Cause he's not, uh, again, he's not even close to ready for the NHL. Uh, the last two years didn't help him for sure, but I think this will be good for his development. And again, he can come over with who's the at the same time. We'll see what happens. Who's the will be close to NHL ready by the time he comes over for sure. Like he might be ready. Like when, like actually right away when he comes over, who knows? Cause he's been a stud this season in Russia, but, um all in all i like i kind of like that it wasn't two years to be honest but again i'd rather have him playing in the khl assuming he gets regular minutes with this coaching change um then coming over and like playing however long in fucking iowa mm-hmm. um i don't need to see him like line mates like no disrespect but like to, like fucking patrick curry or brandon baddock like i don't need to see him like on a line with those guys i really don't or mitch balmas who did score the other day though in their playoff game congrats sure. to iowa wild Second time they've made the playoffs, but um, I think it'll be good for him. Again, all assuming this coaching change results with him uh, getting regular minutes over there. I think that's a that's a better development path curve for him, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, no, it's good because I, 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 he's not he's not ready yet. So um, let him let him go play in the KHL. He does not need to go play in fucking Iowa. So good for him. 